This is your daily tarot and guidance reading. My name is TJ and today is January 9th, 2022. This is a pick a card style reading and we will be using two different decks. The first deck is a angel oracle deck and the second deck is a Smith White tarot deck in the theme of Game of Thrones. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now each group is represented by a different stone. The first reading will be represented by the green adventuring stone. And this stone helps to protect one's home and also promotes healing of your body. The second reading will be from the tiger's eye stone. And this helps also to um, deal with releasing anxiety and fear and uh, brings a balance to and harmony to oneself. And the third group will be represented by the Rose Quartz. And this represents unconditional love in all forms. If you would like, go into the description box below and you can head directly to your, your grouping. Or you can certainly pause the video and see which stone resonates with you. Let's get started, shall we? With the Green Adventuring Group. What message do you have today? All right, Green Adventuring, your Angel Oracle card is Opportunity to Forgive, and you have an angel perched in a tree with a koala and their little baby. This card says, The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So you have this in combination with the chariot in reverse. And here you have um, a dragon who's attempted to be slain. And um, you also have the six of coins, which is Varus. He's like the master of spies in the show. And he's giving money. Now, this card usually represents a delay, maybe some sort of procrastination, something that's blocking the progress of something. And here you have the six of coins, which is a card of giving and receiving generosity gifts. So today, Green Adventuring Group, I'm seeing that you're being given the opportunity, you're having the opportunity to forgive someone and you're being encouraged to do it right away. Sometimes we feel that, um, this could even be towards yourself. Sometimes we feel the need to hold on to a grudge or something of that nature. And, um, you know, there's no need to wait. You can let the healing start today. So you're being given an opportunity to let go of whatever negativity it has and you can start a new exchange of energy between you and or between you and a person or um, some sort of um, grouping um, of one that can be of uh, a positive nature as opposed to um, one that wasn't, you know, this chariot in reverse again can be like a blockage. It can even be a miscommunication, something that is causing, you know, progress. But you have the opportunity to get that energy flow back in alignment. And giving is the key word between, you know, these cards here. Sometimes we need to be giving of ourselves in order, for, you know, for progress to happen. Let the peace begin with you. And, you know... That can be such a wonderful thing because sometimes other people, if they're not ready, that's up to them. But if you and your heart are ready to move on and to be giving, that today could really be the beginning of a new energy exchange flow. So Green Adventuring Group, I can, I'm can i getting the impression today that there's something, uh, some sort of situation, some sort of dynamic um, that requires healing and there's no need to delay that process. It can begin today because it can really start a new um, type of exchange, a different type of energy, a different, a different type of vibe between you and a person or a thing. That change can begin with you and that change can start now. It can start today. Green Adventuring Group, I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you did, please give me a like and come back for more. I enjoyed doing this and I, I hope you enjoy receiving and I hope that it's helpful. Let's move on to the second reading and that's from the Tiger's Eye Group. Let's see. So, as you can see, my Angel Oracle cards are well loved. And you have the card, What Do You Desire? It says, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. So you have the Eight of Cups. 
in reverse. And here you have Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Um, leaving his, um, you know, the organization that he was part of, the Night's Watch. And here you have the Star card, which is his uh, sister. And, um, or are they technically sisters? No, I guess they're technically... They, they're yeah they're, they're they're cousins i guess um his family member anyway someone who was like a sister to him and uh she's waiting in a tower for help she's communicating secretly with a lit candle at the window so uh, tiger's eye group today i'm getting the impression that um i'm gonna say it as i see it today i'm getting the impression that in a partnership Perhaps you are feeling neglected. Um, I'm getting the impression that you feel like someone has let you down. Um, they haven't supported you. And um, you're being encouraged to tune into what type of relationship it is that you want. So sometimes we're not sure of the type of relationship we want until we experience um, different aspects of relationships. Uh, and, you know, different scenarios in life, time can help us see people in different ways and how they react in different scenarios. And perhaps right now in your life, you're being shown um, different aspects of interactions and you know dynamics between people and you're seeing what it is that you want and what it is that you don't want in relationships and dynamics. So um, even, so Tiger's Eye Group, with the star though, even if you don't feel the love or the um, support at this particular moment, it is going to come to you. So you're being encouraged today um, to really hone on, to hone into what it is that you want because you're experiencing things that you don't want. I'm getting the impression that you're feeling um, let down by a partner or abandoned or perhaps even alone. And know that this, this state won't last forever. And part of that change comes with identifying what it is that you want it to change into. So you're being encouraged to see, you know what? I don't like interacting on this type of level. I don't like communicating like this. I, I'm i really surprised to see, you know, X, Y, Z type of reaction. Um, this I, I don't solve problems this way. So through these challenges, through even um, that being alone in the meantime, perhaps you're able to process and see things from a different light and learn what it is that you want. So Tiger's Eye Group, I hope you have a wonderful day. And <clears throat> pardon me, this won't last forever. Um, and these experiences are only helping you hone into your true desires. If you enjoyed this reading, I hope it was helpful to you. Um, let me know in the comments below. And uh, I wish you nothing but the best. Let's move on to the last reading, the third reading. And that is represented by the Rose Quartz. Let's see what message is in store for you today. So your angel oracle card is see only love. Ha! Huh? And you have that in combination with the rose quartz. Coincidence? I think not. And here you have an angel and there's a moon behind them. And they're surrounded by two other little angels. And it says, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So Rose Quartz Group, you have the King of Swords in reverse. And this can sometimes represent someone who's being a bit egotistical, perhaps even being misjudged. Even perhaps being a bit poorly treated. And you have this in combination with the Ten of Spears. And this is the card of burdens being stretched thin a bit. Rose Quartz Group, I'm getting the impression today that perhaps you are feeling like your efforts aren't being appreciated, like you're working very hard, like you're being stretched thin, um, like th there's something there's something that you're giving energy and effort towards something or someone that you love, and perhaps you're not feeling like um, you're feeling overworked and you're not feeling appreciated. You know, sometimes when we do things, people don't understand why we're doing them. Or because they're so wrapped up in their own negative thoughts, they misread the intentions behind our actions. We could be coming from a loving place. We could be doing a loving act. But for whatever reason, um, their mind space is being clouded. And um, they're not able to see things for as they are 
for the true light and positivity that they are at this particular at a particular time. Maybe you're on the other end where, you know, you're being shown love and effort and you're not able to see that it's coming from the right place, from whatever it is. You know, just know that sometimes moments of of uh, feeling burdened or of heavy loads don't last forever. And um, even in terms of people's opinions and views towards you, they won't last forever. If you're coming from the right place, the misunderstandings and the miscommunications, they will, they'll, they'll go away. And um, even if others aren't able to see your efforts and acknowledge you, for the hard work and the determination and the positivity that you're bringing at the particular, at this particular moment, at some point they might. And that was my little one. Um, so I hope that today you don't lose heart and you give yourself grace and you give yourself praise. Um, and if you know that you're coming from the right place, you don't let the negative mask that others have towards you influence the perception that you have on yourself and know to, um, as well and part of loving yourself is to not overburden yourself do what you can when you can and give yourself moments of grace and time when you need it if you enjoyed this reading please come back for more enjoy giving it and i hope you have a wonderful day bye now